hello and very warm welcome. In this video, you're gonna find out what's the biggest potting secret. I'm super, super happy that we've reached that point because you're gonna learn a lot. So, you found out what's the point towards the pocket, you think you found out what's the line from the cue ball to the black, and then you go to play the shot, you think everything's perfect, and then you miss. This is what happens to so many snooker players. In this video, you're gonna see why that happens. So here to make the magic happen, you're gonna need a triangle, or anything which is straight, you're gonna need five balls and a cue ball. So here what I'll be doing is, I put these four balls and the black, the black is going to be the object ball, this is going to be the cue ball. So I'm aligning them four balls in a perfect line on the triangle, then I'm aligning the black ball towards the pocket. You want everything to be touching. This is the tricky part, to set them up touching each other, which is quite difficult. We're gonna show it just in a second. So you need four balls in a perfect line, pushing on the triangle, and you want the object ball, the black ball, touching that red. So here you go, you have the four balls touching the triangle and the black ball is touching that red. Now you're gonna see it from the other side as well because you have to. Here you can see that the balls are touching the triangle so the four balls are in perfect line with the triangle so this is absolutely perfect straight line and now you can see the black towards the pocket, it is aimed absolutely perfect and this is a half ball shot. Now you can see from here that this is half ball shot, half ball cut. So now I'm removing the triangle and I remove that red without removing any other balls. I'll put this red on the T-angle to show you that this is going to be almost thin. So now this is still aimed perfect. I'm going to shoot from here to that red ball. And this cue ball, this white ball is going to bounce and hit the black absolutely perfect towards the pocket and there is going to be zero side spin on that cue ball. There is not going to be any side spin into that cue ball and the cue ball is going to hit the perfect point which is in line with the pocket. So here I'm going to play the shot. The black is aimed absolutely perfect towards the pocket as I showed. I'm using that cue ball and I'll hit absolutely straight into that red and that's, that will make that cue ball bounce on the black without any side spin and with perfect aiming. And now you see that the black is not going into the pocket. I'm going to repeat that half ball shot from another angle so you can see it again, you can see it very carefully. So here again I've aligned the four balls perfect and I've aligned the plant towards the pocket absolutely perfect. I remove the triangle, I remove that red 
without moving any other balls. I remove that thread because I don't want to play plant where balls are touching each other. I'm setting up that cue ball super straight and now I'm playing the shot again. Now watch the black. Now you can see where the black goes. It does not go into the pocket. It was aimed perfectly towards the pocket, but it does not go into the pocket. So you've seen that there is huge, huge difference from where the black ball was hit to where it actually goes. There is like huge difference. I'll explain why that happens in one of our future videos, but now I'll show you what happens with a three-quarter ball shot because that was a half ball shot. I'll show you what happens with three-quarter ball shot. I've aligned the balls touching the triangle so they're in perfect straight line. They're touching the triangle. And now this is a three-quarter ball shot. Now you can see that it's a three-quarter ball shot so that the red is covering three-quarters of the black. So here again, I'm removing the triangle. I remove that ball. <clears throat> and now I'm going to play the shot. The cue ball is going to have zero side spin and it's going to hit the perfect point on the black. And now watch where the black ball goes. I want everything to be in a perfect straight line. That's why I'm taking my time now. And now that was a three-quarter ball shot. This was the three-quarter ball shot. Again, it went thick and it went thick a lot. Now I'm showing, I'm going to show the seven-eight shot, which is almost straight shot. Here the seven-eight shot. Again, the balls are touching the triangle. I remove the triangle. I remove that ball. And now I'm playing the shot. Almost straight shot. Seven eights. Everything should be perfect straight line. And again, it goes thick. So even on almost straight shot, again, it goes thick. Fortunately, this doesn't happen on every shot. In, in one of our next videos, I will explain why that happens. And I'll, show, I'll give you tips. I'll give you full potting guide how to play every shot on the table. So now this is going to be a one quarter ball cut, very fine cut. Again, the balls are touching the triangle, they're in perfect line. The black is touching that ball, which I'm going to remove before I play the shot. So again, I'm removing the triangle. I'm removing that red, otherwise it's going to be a plant which is touching and you don't want that really. My cue ball in a straight line. I'm going to play the shot. Aiming at the middle of the white. You don't want any side spin. And that hit so much away from the pocket. With all of these tests, I want to ensure you that the cloth is the cloth is like two weeks old, and the balls are polished. The balls are polished with machine, so the playing conditions are perfect. And 
unfortunately, this is what I was doing was testing the ghost ball method. Unfortunately, the ghost ball method does not work for every shot. It works for some shots. I'll show you why and how on one of our next videos. But the problem is that ghost ball method does not work. So there is actually not much of a sense to watch that point on the black towards the pocket and then trying to find that, that line. There is not much into it. So if snooker was that easy, it, everybody would have put balls without any problem because you would remember that point, you would come here and then you would hit straight on the white and the ball would go in the pocket. Unfortunately, that does not work. In our next videos, you see full potting guide how to play every, every shot on that table.